Hi everyone, welcome back to the Altium Develop series. So in this video, we will see uh, what is basically the post silicon is and uh, what includes in the post silicon process. So when you got the hardware, when you designed the hardware and it got fabricated and what will be the next step? The next step is basically the testing and troubleshooting step because uh, mostly uh, the product needs some testing for the first uh, a prototype and once it's tested and then you can make uh, any number of quantity for uh, production. So uh, uh, most hardware knowledge uh, is lost in the labs scribbled in notebooks when testing the product photos on phones and tickets with no context. So this video shows how Altium develop pulls bring up back into the digital thread. So uh, what is a post silicon process? So what is the problem with the post silicon uh, uh, process in uh, when we talk about uh, traditional uh, process? So basically uh, when testing the readings are recorded on the registers or notebooks and taking the screenshot of, from the oscilloscope and sending mm, them uh, through WhatsApp for the storage or uh, to the lead to check what's the problem with it and discussing on WhatsApp uh, or some other communication channel. So uh, it means uh, the Jira tickets with no schematics reference. Some issues are over on the Jira but the screenshots are on the WhatsApp. Uh, so in this way you can see the screenshot the issues are on different platforms they are not aligned so it can happen that uh, the issue uh, it will be a headache uh, to resolve the issue so uh, uh, ultimate develop reduces or resolves this issue so what post silicon traceability means so it means uh, you are on your lab and testing your circuit board uh, and you have found some thing anonymous or something which you know that it should not be over here like uh, some uh, signal random signal or you are not getting the output signal from some ic so uh, you got that and you you come back to the ultimate developer space and found that ic like as you can see on the screen let's say this is an ic and you see that this pin is has some issue with IP plus and IP minus pin and you come over here and write down the context or some note over here on the ultimate develop and measure the net or other component uh, uh, values what, what would be the voltages over there and then note down after note down the values come back uh, to the ultimate develop space and make changes over there so in this way you can see you have noted on the changes and then added to the same design uh, on the develop workspace project so after doing this uh, we will see uh, we will have a simple example from this demo project as you can see here i have opened the demo project here is the ic i have, uh, I have uh, click over here and you know when we click over the ic it will give you the option to place the comment so i am writing some random comment over here this ic circuit needs to be verified it may be verified because uh, because um, there is some random voltages or some unknown voltage or maybe the voltage is not over that pin so i'm writing over here there is the no signal at the output pin the sense pin is working fine it has the vcc voltage coming into the pin and etc so it's random comment you can add when come back to the develop workspace to make everything uh, aligned over here you can add the screenshot of the problem over here so it will add just a original snapshot from the uh, schematics uh, by default 
so you have added a comment you can convert your comment to the task and assign that to the designer so basically you are on the uh, testing troubleshooting team but the designer is someone else so you can uh, you you come back over the ultimate workspace and assign this task to some specific person as you know we can use an uh, specific notation uh, with uh, a shift and pressing two to add at and assigning that task so here i have linked the requirements to this uh, project already uh, and when uh, the uh, the comments are linked over here for the designer you can add or edit the requirements from the requirement portals uh, portal uh, that what changes you have seen when you were uh, testing the circuit board so i have write down some random requirement over here which needs to be updated so i have opened the requirements portal and you can go into some specific requirements let's say it was r eq minus zero 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 three so search for it yeah yeah this one uh, and it was the description of this requirement the vv status is zero by zero so you have to update the status as well if it is one so you have to update it to zero the issue uh, it will get one by one if uh, the issue is resolved so i am adding the requirement this needs to be updated by this requirement and you can then in the final step add that requirement to the project and it will be updated uh, by the designer so the status will also gets update after its uh, final uh, clarification or verification uh, keep in mind when you are updating the requirement into the requirement portal for some specific project you need to see uh, what else needs to be updated or changed or add it so add all of them so if this there is you can see there is no methods given to this requirement and it it can be possible that uh, after that requirement is updated it needs some specific method maybe in testing or something else uh, so keep in mind to update that also so today we have learned ultimate develop for post silicon iteration that capturing lab findings and back to the digital thread so that's all for today's video thanks for watching and follow us for the upcoming videos